yung win rate ng, ng Harit ng Bren Esports. And mind you, kahit si Ribo, 100% yung win rate niya kay Harit. And siya yung maglalaro ngayon, surprisingly, si UG yung nakatuto kay Franco. Kakaiba pala, no, pagka masyado mong tinigasan yung Ribo, pero pasok na tayo sa game, mga kaibigan. Up. Reaches the battlefield. Smash them. As we can see, all like, troops deployed. What's happening here? Is Hanya Few Rebo going to the mid lane and uh they switch it up. Lumang Fugi bago, lumang bago. Fuji pa rin yung SM Rebo kasi tinutok niya rin Franco kanina. Pero yun nga, pakilala mo natin Kuya Butter sa side ng Signal Ultra Tets on the ground. Disanya as the Caritad E on the Alice. Pero bago natin pakilala yung natitirang Signal Ultra dito. Coco sinuntok lang naman and Few sa kanyang show Yahoo on the Hayabusa. For the side of Bren, it's going to be Rebo on the Harris. Haze will be the Akai. Pain as the Franco. Coco Al Aljus. 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 And Yuji will be the Esmeralda. Oh. And Pew! Pinatikim ng sapak dito si Coco agad. Oo, oh, ang sexy naman. Sabi niya ni Pew dito. Tara, suntu ka na! Huwag na mag-ML. Suntu ka tayo dito. Pero sa ML lang naman si Rusunto. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's surprising na ang gumagamit dito ng Grok ay si Tets. Seeing that D is actually the better Grok player out of these two. Pero ang sinasabi lang nila dito, they don't really use Alice as a mage. Mm -hmm. eh, sinabi mo nga ito kanina, di ba? There is utility. Uh, draft, yes, yes, utility, Alice to for Signal Ultra. I think that's to answer yung uh, team fight superiority ng Bren Esports dito. Kasi kung titignan mo, there's so much damage. Pero ito, nakahuli si Pain. Pero makakatabo naman siya dito. Signal Ultra, magkahabol pa ba? They just want the buff dito for both sides. They just actually wanted to go for the steal. Pero knock up after knock up. Haze dito trying to get away. Flicker in only fast. Sinik Muraan. Oh, oh. Signal Ultra dito. They're responding with the meta na binibigay ng Bren Esports. Pangalawang Franco nyo na okay. Mabilis kami mag-adjust. Nabasa na namin yung gameplay nyo kanina. And they, na they are now finding the proper rotations para ma-shutdown yung Bren Esports. And right now, Few. Tingnan mo yung ginagawa niya kay Coco dito. Few actually getting stunned. Sayang yun, if ever man hindi siya na-stand doon, he could actually go for more aggression yep. kay Coco. And ito lang naman yung kailangan magawin kay Aljus eh. Huwag mo siyang pakuwain na stacks. Mm -hmm. Just try to see or just try to harass him at a point na hindi pa siya nakakuha ng enough stacks. Kasi in terms of trades, he will never win. Yep. And I do like yung ginagawa ng Bren Esports even. No? They panel uh, Harry on the uh, mid lane para lang makuha niya mas... I mean on the top lane, para mas mabilis niya makuha yung level 4 to find the earlier rotation sa akin Signal Ultra. Kasi again, looking at the lineup, kailangan nilang i-shutdown kagad to. Pag umabot na nilang game, nakakatakot yung Hayabusa. And wala nga namang, ano, wala nga namang uh, pushing... Uh, me medyo cool lang yung pushing capability ng Signal Ultra. Pero nakakatakot pa rin yung late game prowess nila. Look at the levels dito. Rebo is at 5. Everyone from Signal Ultra is at 4, except Yaku, kaka-level lang niya. Pain is still at level 3. So this is the economy in terms of XP na pinapakita na sa atin ng Signal Ultra. This is their trademark rotation. Yep, ito. Turtle for Signal Ultra. Bren Esports will look to contest. There's a mark here on Tets. Nakuha pa rin. Nice! Kali pa yung Turtle dito, pero ito. Lalaban yung Bren Esports. Mapapatay niya sa Grok. Tuloy-tuloy, hinahabol si Dito. Bawal ka tabakbo. Pero napatay ni Alice. Si, si Aljus dito. Yuji tumatakbo. Akai shutting down. Di Karita. Di, hindi pa tapos si Rebo dito. Ahabulin pa niya yan. Pero merong tao din sa likod. It's few chasing down pain. Pero Yaku will just force Bren Esports away. And uh, Yaku just... Wasting time there. We don't really, uh, don't really think that dapat nandun lang siya. He was trying to protect. Sabi natin dito at show na mas mobile sa kanya. If he ever just pushed the lane out, that could have been more damage on the mid lane tower. Yep, Bren Esports in the top lane will look to push. Pero ito, merong din namang utility again si Alice. Ito yung sinasabi mo kanina, yung utility Alice ng Signal Ultra. It is to stop Bren Esports from taking those early objectives because of the sustain. Yes, and uh, Kung papansin niyo dito, in terms of Bren Esports, they don't have sustain. The only sustain that they have is the shield sustain na nagagaling kay Yuji. Mm -hmm. Pero hindi yun tumutulong sa lahat ng teammates niya. Yep. Sa kanya lang yun. Bumagasig ng Ultra, pwede sila mag-play around dun sa area ni Alice. Yes, sabihin nating makunat yung Esmeralda. Pero anong gagawin ng Bren Esports kung hindi nila pansinin si Yuji and patayin nila yung natitirang apat sa side ng Bren Esports? It's actually very refreshing for me to see Yaku go for the Hayabusa. Oh, and yeah. right now, D just going in. And wow. Ang snappy. Yep. Ang snappy nun. Inaabis ina nun talaga nila yung uh, every time magkukultown yung ultimate ni D dito. Again, ito 
yung uh, condition ng Sigma Ultra. Every time may territorial control ka with the ultimate of the Alice, you can find pickoffs on the side of Brain Esports. Kasi ano yung sasagot nila? Sa Aman Force, uh, yung uh, ikot ni Haze, yung sayaw niya. Asan yung team fight? And tignan mo kung gaano kataas yung game IQ ni Pew dito. Just knowing how to play these heroes. I mean, kaya nga nagkaroon sila ng konting exchange dito. Kasi ang sabi nila, is uh, Yaku might actually go for more mages this time around. But still, Pew, nasa same, nasa same dimensions pa rin sila. Yaku still going for the Hayabusa, Pew going for the Cho. So, ang daming pwede. And Sigla Ultra dito, they know that they have the level advantage. Alam nila, lamang na lamang sila dito against Brent Esports. You will not be able to take this turtle for free. Sabi nila, di dito, and Tetz is now looking to position against Bren. Hinahanap nila yung proper opening. They want this turtle as well. And sa, sa mid lane naman, nag-confirm lang si Yako dito. UG will look to rotate. Sabi niya, tutulungan kayo mga kampi ko. This is actually right. Wala si Coco dito, and Coco just giving vision sa mga kakampi niya. Going for the Hayabusa. Mid lane and turret is destroyed. Harris, mga kaibigan, and Rebo. Rebo just actually taking down Hayabusa dito. But right now, we're seeing the Sanya with the knock-up. It's there. Rebo with the intercept. At mga katakas dito si Sanya. But still, oh look at this Sanya is going in. Zaman Force, pero nahuli siya dito agad, mga kaibigan. Few trying to go for Coco. And mega kill on Few. Ito na yung sinasabi natin. ML na ML si Kuya Few dito, Kuya Batters, grabe naman, Bren Esports looking to push this bottom lane Pero napakaunat nung utility na Alice, pero papapatay pa rin naman yan, pero may punish, mapapatay yung Akai! ND! Oh my god, Signal Ultra, kahit napatay si Alice doon, it was a trade-off, masayang masaya na siya doon And uh, Few just actually staying there near the brush, and uh, Pain, nakokonek naman si Pain ngayon, bakit ba ang hilig ng mga player natin ngayon na nakokonek sila? <laughs> dito again. Ikaw na nagsabi, ikaw na mismo nagsabi, nag-aabangan lang siya ng masisipa dito. Nag-ahamon ng away si Kuya Few. Makikita niya si Pain, pero the real objective is the turret. Brent Esports cannot really do anything to contest this. Nakapwesto rin si Kadita on that bush. Kapag may lumapit, he will look, they will go for a And the Sanya just going in, trying to go for the first. Knock-ups are there! And Coco dito, talaga na shutdown na sila. But still, nahuli dito si Tetz. Tetz in the middle of everything. But still, Few. He has an answer. The wave of dragon oh, the is there. Pain. Pumasok si Didito with his ultimate and everything in between. Pero ito, Harris just trying to take them down. D using his first skill to get in and out of the fight. Yaku dito tumulong na and Yaku just dealing decent damage. Not as explosive, pero Yaku will go down. Oh, friendly sports. They've punished Signal Ultra for over Ito na, ang UFO! Hinahabol na mga kaibigan sa akin dito tumusok mong tumakbo. But still... Brandy Sports, four kills to one. Alam mo yung sira na hinabol ng UFO. Medyo may harap yun. Signal Ultra dito, medyo nag-overstay. They should have been happy with the face check na ginawa ni Coco kanina. And after the turret takedown, they really had no objectives there. You can say na may sustain pa si Alice, pero kulang na yung damage at that point. Kinomit na rin yung ultimate ni Desanya. And it is gonna be an objective. Another one for Brent Esports as Harit takes down the turret to the top lane. UG in the middle lane pressuring them as well. And look at the split of the map na ginagawa nila against Signal Ultra. Brent Esports is just controlling the resources away from them. Si Rebo tsaka si Pain magbest na dito. Hindi iniiwan <laughs> ni Pain si Rebo. Kapag anong ko po si Rebo, nandun lang siya sa bush. Ginagawa lang niya, nagahanap lang siya ng kung may mahahatak siya. Yep. And if ever man, they can actually isolate him inside the Zaman Force. Ang ganda kasi ng combo, di ba? Hatak tsaka Zaman Force. You have two ways to get inside Signal Ultra. Pero ito, nagkasuntukan sila may sakit. Oh, what the sun is there? Coco, the fight between the offlaners oh, and the no, shadow in, shadow out. Few is down. This is the perfect time for Brent to actually fight while charge out. And they might get another objective here. Probably not the Lord kasi si Aljus is nasa taas pa. Doesn't really have the ultimate kasi kakagamit ka lang kay Yako. Ganda nga na ginawa ng Brent Esports dun eh. They know na wala nga si Yako on that teamfight. And they found the perfect opportunity para mahuli si Pew. Dun sa may uh, bandang uh, Lord area. Signal Ultra, they lost a hero here. And Brent Esports might look to capitalize once again. Yung punishment ng Brent Esports dito sobrang tak pa rin. So, ibig sabihin, if they know, alam nila yun. Tama ka dyan. Pagtugma. Pagtugma, tama. Tama. Rebo. Ito lang talaga eh. The game plan for Brian Esports is to not fight into the wall na meron dito yung Signal Ultra. Literally, just because they have the drop. Oh, hey. Brian Esports, on the other hand, they're just taking down towers. They're trying to take down the objectives. 
And that's the idea. That's the main idea dito mga kaibigan na hindi nila bibitawan sa Signal Ultra. They know that Signal Ultra needs a lot of farm and at the same time, I'll just need the stacks as well. Not really the items but more on the stacks. Yep. Kasi 154 on the Aljus is... Oh, Yaku! Oh. Yaku dito, just try to get away. He's even using mga kaibigan yung kanyang Hurricane Dance dito but they actually missed time Yaku there. Ribo. Here comes the Wild Charge. Rebo in the middle of everything and D using his ultimate just trying to stay in and out pero oh, nahuli ni Pain si Yaku and Nako the Flicker and will actually pay off. After the takedown, Coco Brand Esports, they found Yaku in the lab. Because here, Yuji on the back lines, but the real target from Few is on the top lane. It is Ribo. Sa kanyang halit and mapapatay nila yon. Isunod mo na yung mga hills ng Brand Esports. Masadong masakit yung chow natin. Another ultimate coming in from this Halis, pero he's sumasayon na sa kita pandango. Brand Esports, kailangan yung magback and disanya will just clean up the Akai here. Hindi pa sila tapos nagahanap pa ng target ng Signal Ultra dito, pero medyo malayo na si Pain, chaka si Yuji. Yun yung pinaka weakness ng lineup ng Brand Esports dito. Alam nila na kailangan nila matake yung fights na pabor sa kanila. Kasi yun yung kahinaan ng isang Franco. If Franco gets in the middle of everything na force engage siya, you need, you need choose kung sino yung huliin mo agad just because alam mong hindi kayo pwede magpa-initiate ng ganun kadali. Yep. At the same time, kailangan mo mag-reposition. As much as possible, you'd want to be the one initiating team fight. Yes, nahuli mo si Yaku, pero hindi kumonekta yung sayaw ng Akai. And at that point, Signal Ultra, medyo chaotic na yung team fight and it is favoring them. Kasi kung titignan mo yung mga heroes nila dito, they have to stay from Alice. Wala siya pakailam kung nasan man siya sa team fight. You have a grok. Kung magdikit-dikit kayo sa bato, talagang makunat yan. And Signal Ultra, they can dictate team fights against Brent, against Brent Esports. Lalo kapag walang maharap ng proper target si Pain. And uh, even using the ultimate, just to spot out Signal Ultra players here, ayaw nila dito magbigay ng isang Easy Lord. Kung bagay, ito lang yung pinaprovide ni Coco as of now. 164 siya, he's just trying to uh, give vision oh, few. ng kalaban. And <laughs> few. Para may magnet si Fiu kay Coco. Ah. Oo, sabi niya may pangit dito eh. Grabe ka naman. Pogi. Hindi naman ganun yun. Yaku. Trying to split push pero sinapun talaga siya ng brand esports dito. They know they have the capability to take down uh, si Yaku. We might, we might see an engagement here from Sigma Ultra. Pero tumanan lang si Hayes. He knows medyo lekta siya and hindi madidisplace si Akai dito. Okay. So at least for the side of Signal Ultra, oh. nasa kanila pa rin naman yung namang. I'll just, just pushing the lanes. Pero ang ginagawa niyo lang dito, there's this certain point sa mapa natin, when he almost hits the river, umaalis na siya. Yep. He TPs out. Alam niya na kailangan niya dito ilimit yung kanyang farming just because ang dali umikot ang signal ultra dito and may isang tao na naghahanap at naghahanap sa kanya which is you. Exactly. Ilang beses niya na nakita yun, ilang beses na siyang pinuntahan ng show sa may top lane. So alam na ni Coco na siya ang primary target ng Signal Ultra dito, you'd want to shut down si Coco in this game. Brand Esports, you can take this, uh, you can take this definitely sa late game, pero Signal hey, Ultra is way better. Here it comes the indication. Wild Charge, inside, and they actually disengage dahil na nabato ni D yung kanyang ultimate. That's the thing about Alice, kailangan mo siya patayin ng sobrang snappy. If you don't, eh, kailangan medyo umalis na kayo just because the control that will come out from the Alice, medyo mabilis yung cooldown ng kanyang ano eh, yeah, tsaka ang daming ano eh, ang daming mo kinokomit na resource mula sa Brand Esports. As much as possible, yun nga yung ginagawa nila kanina. Lahat ng kailangan nilang iba to, lahat na pupunta kay Yaku. And that is the clear condition for Signal Ultra. They want the chaotic team fights. Kung hindi, ma, kung hindi man masunod yung mga gusto ng Brand Esports, yun yung time na lalaban yung Signal Ultra. And, uh, Rebo. Pareho sila ng ano, sabihin na natin. Rebo dito, nasa parehong sitwasyon siya kanina, this is Anya. They, he got a lot of kills, pero hindi po mapapork sa kanila objective. Yuji dito trying to run away the Esmeralda, and this is the perfect pick-off. Kung gusto nyo lumaban mga kaibigan, mamaya-maya, nahuli si Alice doon. But still, hindi nahuli si Alice, nahuli si Alice. si Alice doon, but he can get away. Coco, on the other hand, is just pushing on the top lane, pero Hayabusa going head-to-head -head against Oh Alice. my god, Brandy Sports! And ang pagbangon ng api! Coco getting back at Yaku, mga kaibigan, para sa lahat ng ginawa niya. Again, with the information given to them, yung Hayabusa na si top lane, he was depending against the uh, Aljus. Kahit pa lumalaban yung Signal Ultra dito, they were looking to kill Yuji. Sabi ni Payne dito, sige, uhook ko yung Alice and we will still get the uh, upper hand in terms of objective doon. Nakapatay pa yung Bren Esports and Signal Ultra will look to contest yung Lord ng Bren Esports dito. Pero the knock-up is there. 
and uh, Tets trying to run away. Oracle, on the other hand, will come out from the Esperalda. Hayes here. And uh, medyo nag, uh, nag high hello sila dito ni uh, Kuya Hayes. Oh, ni Kuya Nag-aambahan lang yung, mga dal yung dalawang teams natin at this point. Just trying to control this area near the Lord as much as possible. Both teams, they want that objective. But again, for Signal Ultra, kahit tong atakil yung game, medyo masaya sila. They're uh, scaling in terms of heroes here. Kahit masabi natin, they have an Alice that is still a utility na napakahira patayin on the side of Red Esports. And daming resources na kailangan nilang commit para lang papatay nila si B. Uh, if you're Signal Ultra, you might. If you're a Signal Ultra fan, fan medyo kailangan masaya kayo dito. Eh. Because looking at the net worth earlier, may dalawang nasa 10k mark na sa kanila, Few and Yahoo. So that means they have more chances of winning, pero Brian Esports dito. As we've mentioned earlier, in terms of macro play, they are the kings. Yep, and look at here, four heroes in the middle lane for Brian Esports. Wala yung Aljo Seekin, follow up naman with his ultimate, pero Few is just trying to control Coco, making sure na walang Aljo sa teamfight na pwedeng ibataw ng Signal Ultra dito sa bandang Lord. Ayun, nag-aamba lang sila, pero dalawa na yung heroes ng Bren Esports dito. Few, he might fall here. And they want to fight this, mga kaibigan. This is a 3v4 situation. Doon sa may baba, they can actually take this. Tets will go down. Pain, mga kaibigan, going 1v1 with Yaku. And here comes Hayes. Hayes dito, just trying to get away. Ooh. And Yaku <laughs> will take down Pain, pero may sagot si Hayes doon. Kinorner na naman, Kuya Butters. And this is a rito, mahuhuli pa ni Ribo. And Ribo. Getting chipped down, pero sabi niya dito, I will get that kill. Thunderbelt on the Aljos. If and they go straight for the Lord, pero may tao nagabang. May nagabang. Nag Kaso wala siyang buhay. Hey, he has his ultimate. Yep. Kaya so, okay. natin kung makukontest, asan yung mga heroes na... Oh, and alam na ni Yuji! Nice! Bakit ka ni Yuji? Hindi okay, ka si Falcon, pero huli ka. Eto, James Pate, nagakol. In 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 Tamang life kill ka lang dyan, oy! Bren Esports, even though the information was already abused by Signal Ultra, dalawang heroes sa top lane, sabi nila, lalaban tayo, pero Bren Esports, they still managed to take the team fight away from Signal Ultra. And right now, for the first time in forever, they have tasted the gold lead for Bren Esports, and they are now pushing in front of the middle lane turret ng Signal Ultra. Hey, talagang umaamba na lang siya dito. Subukan yung lumabas. Alam mo yung ginagawa ni Didon? Wala naman siya eh. Nakatambay lang siya dun eh. Binato siya ng star. <laughs> Sabi ni D, Oy, teka, nakakita ako ng bulalakaw. Yun yung nag-iisang star na ayaw mo kunin. Oh my God! Oparji, D, getting caught out! Winter Trudge na doon sa may kita! Patay Will I pop the ultimate? The silence is there! And right now, friend, just marching on with the Lord! And they will go in! Hook will be in! Hook will hit! You? And right now, two man knock up! Karita dito with the ultimate, he will just try to get away with he it! He will survive! But Joe will go down! Yaku! Yaku! Pabos siya sa base ng Brand Esports! Sabi niya, kunin niyo na ako! Kunin niyo na ako! Tamang linis ng wave, hindi ko na kailangan kayang patayagtahan to! And Brand Esports, they will take all the objectives that they can! And mukhang tatapusin na nila ito! Coco is diving deep para mahuli si Yaku! Hindi pa nila mapatay, they can still chase though! Pero ito, delegado, Ribo will land the Zaman Force! And mapapatay pa rin nila! Si Yaku! And Yaku! The final line of defense here for the side of Signal Ultra is Grok, Karita, and Alice. And this is the thing. Ito yung pinaka-problema ng isang Alice. Kapag ka hindi ka na una or hindi mo nakuha yung entrance na gusto mo, which is technically so parang capable ni Alice na gawin yun, hindi nyo talaga ma-utilize yung, ano yung pinaka-kit niya. Because, yes, she can be a tank with his ultimate on. Pero with it off, she's just a typical mage. Yep, again, you said kapag napatay mo yung Alice na snappy, walang problema. Pero kung wala siya sa team fight, literal, walang problema. Bren Esports, right now, they have amassed a 6,000 gold lead against Signal Ultra. Anong late game, late game, palabas lang yon. Bren Esports, they want the game against Signal Ultra right now to secure that they fall down to the lower bracket. Signal Ultra, ulitin nyo yung run ng Season 2. And uh, Bren being slow but steady. Tets na huli. Alice going in. It's in the Salmon Force. Look at that. Three man knockoff. You Yudito will take down Rebo. And right now, Pain is the next target. They will naturally fight this. Here comes Coco. But here comes Daddy. And look at those knockoffs. Nagtalo na niyang friend dito, mga kaibigan. Pero ito, Yaku, susubukan niya patayin si Coco dito. And look at the stacks. It's there. Oh, Yuji. And Yuji. 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 Yuji.
Patibong! Yuji boy! But still, Yuji will go down sa Patibong ngayon sa sarili niya. Pre, Ren Esports, muntik na silang matala doon. Ubus na sana sila. Pero Mage God saves the day. Almost team wipe na. Naligtas pa niya si Coco. Nakapatay pa siya ng tatlo. And for Bren Esports, panalo pa rin sila sa team fight na yon. Nagtalunan yung Bren Esports doon. Nagsimula sa, tat sa unang tatlong tumalon. May dumating na dalawa. Nakitalon din yung dalawa. <laughs> Si Coco naka-experience eh. Bago tayo, yun. tignan mo. Bungee jumping tayo. Kapag kainulat yun, ano yung ilan yun? Tatlo, patay, lima, sugatan. Uy! O, oh, Coco, Coco! Coco, Coco, hinabot si Didi dito. Sabi niya, op, ako lang po, Gidi dito. Okay. Pero, Didi, wala ko siya pakialam. He will just go for the recall. Pero there's still a condition for Signal Ultra. That was a very good display ng kanilang team fight. If na ipit sila sa may batuhan, and naunang makatalon yung Signal Ultra, you can just really go in and find a, a proper target on the side Whoa, of Prince Esports. First down niya kagad, then come the sustained team fight na pwedeng dalin ng Alice tsaka ng Hayabusa. And right now, si uh, Grok, he knows that they're lacking damage and he goes straight for the Cursed Helmet. Whatever they can use against Prince Esports, pinapakita na nila at nilalabas na nila ngayon. Yep. Looking at the gold team right now, Kuya Butters. 6k, pero nahuli si Pain, walang gold team, gold team, hook lang ka dapat mo, and Signal Ultra, hindi pa mapapatay. He does have the immortality, will he fight this? D, just trying to run away, knock-ups after knock-ups, Carita going in, UG mga kaibigan, nahuli si Sunny dito. But still, Coco, na-isolate na naman siya dito, and it's 1v1, two stacks, mga kaibigan, sinapang, in-uppercut, in-uppercut pa baba. Pre, si Coco, gusto ibang away. Sabi niya, alis ka rito. Oh, ito, ito. Sabi niya, walang abyss ah, namin to. Walang lalapit. Dead. Oh, pay to lock. Pay to lock. Sabi niya, doon ako sa kabila. Bakit? Check. Dead. Dead. Oh, Yaku. Going in. D with another oh, ultimate. Oh my god, Yuji. And Bane. Yuji. Wala silang pakialam. Karita will go down. Yaku is down. And the two utilities are the only ones alive. Friend Esports, they just know that they're so far ahead right now. Ito oh, na yung problema oh, natin kanina. Hook! Oh, Hook! Oh, Hook! Oh, Hook! Oh, oh. Hook! Di na! Punti na! Iba pa gusto! Si Payne! Advance mag-isip! Nasa harap mo na! Iba pa gusto! Wala! Sabi niya, ay! Pupunta dito to! Sabi niya, at at umuwi ito eh! Oo! Ayaw ako sa ito! Then ito! Tingnan mo yung buhay na naman! Ni Yuji! Mas malaki pa! Yung buhay! Yung shield niya kesa! Uy! Yun lang napanay si Coco! And nahuli si Coco dito! Just actually using Chase Payne to close the gap! Yuji dito! Mas malaki yung shield niya sa buhay niya! Ganun na! Ganun na yung lagay talaga dito ng Esmeralda eh. Mas white pa yung HP niya sa polo mo, Kuya Batters. Tama naman. And Brent Pero Esports. parang paramdab ko, parang silver yan eh. Oo. 6k pa rin naman yung gold lead dito. And 6 kills din yung lamang. Pero right now, Signal Ultra, wala silang dalawang outer turrets dito. They are forced inside their own bases. And Brent Esports, pwede naman tayo maghintay. Kontrolin lang natin lahat ng resources ng Signal Ultra. Pero lalabas yung lima dito. They want to contest Brent Esports. Ito na ba? Yung comeback kings na tinatawag natin, Signal Ultra, can they pull this off? If they do, they do feel that they're submitting themselves. Joe, getting caught out. You, mga kaibigan, nagkaulihan na dito. Ito lang up on four people! Ano, ito lang up on four people! At talo na na naman sila dito. CJ Rebo, nandang may pinakalikod. We have the dragon, we'll actually take him down. Pain, mga kaibigan, at susunod na... Ang susunod na casualty, Akai, Yuji, with the immortality, and he can get away. Koko dito, trying to get few. Habulan, mga kaibigan, patok sa ulo. Pre, si Yuji, immortal. Sige, suntukan tayo. Ayun lang, napatay siya ni Yaku. Pero that say, the team fight from Brent Esports, ang ganda na sana ng ginawa ng Signal Ultra dito with the perfect knock-up mula kay Cho after living from that engagement. Nagkahabol na sana. Pero ang problema, wala pala si Coco and hindi pa na na-experience yung sustain na dinadala ni Esmeralda. And, wow, ito na nga yung sinasabi natin, Brent Esports. If they don't get their perfect initiation, that is going to be very hard for them to actually turn it around. Rebo, lagi siya na uulin a few dito. And that is the big problem for the side of Prime Esports. The main damage dealer nila as of now, na super consistent talaga. Kasi si Coco dito, kailangan niya man bato. Kaya ako dito, naging target na naman. Siya yung talaga yung pinaka-favorite. Yep. Uy, teka, lalabang ba Prime Esports dito? It's just two heroes mula sa kanila. Pero at Signal Ultra, will still give the respect that Brent Esports demands. Ang hirap din kasi ng team fight ng Brent Esports dito. Kahit mahuli mo si Few, that is a show na kapag nabuhay, syempre, magtitigit-tigit kayo para patayin siya. Kapag nabuhay siya dito, there's a follow-up knock-up. Tapos lilinisig kayo ni Yaku. Necklace of Durance is picked up by D. Another utility item just to uh, 
take down the steel potential ng mga meron dito ang side ng Brent Esports. Yung pacing ng laban natin hindi mo ma-predict eh. kasi Brent Esports they just need one more big team fight dito just to win the game. Pero both teams naman dito, they don't really have that marksman potential na mag-take advantage ng 24-25 minute game natin ngayon. For sure. And right now, look at the net worth. Closing in dun sa 100k mark. Mayaman pa sa mayaman yung mga heroes natin dito, Kuya Batas. Pero ito, it all boils down to execution na hold si Ted. Pero may immortality naman yan. Brand Esports, alagang umaamba pala sila dito. Rico! Now, let's make it now using the chrono dash to actually get in and out. And look at that. Another jumping party dito. D using the oh, winter dungeon. And look at that. Rebo will go down. Another way of the dragon. Ito yung pinaka-problema nila. Pero sabi ni Fiu dito, we still want to chase. We are the comeback kings. And we want to come back. Pero nandun si Yaku. Dinala doon sa base ng friend esports. And wow. Dalawa na lang sila dito. Dalawa na lang sila dito. They need to go back. And that is the huge... Oh, the that is the big problem, mga kaibigan Fiu, with the way of the dragon. He will actually push out Coco. Wala na pang habol yan. Malayo and yung mga Yaku, tropa niya. Yaku, they will get away. They will get away unpunished. Yup, and Signal Ultra, they just find ways para makalaban dito against Sprint Esports. They're always finding the initiation, the jump on Rebo. Fiu is very consistent on his target selection. Priority niya si Rebo dito para hindi siya makapaglapag ng napakagandang Zaman Force and control the team fight of Ben Esports. Now, Signal Ultra, kanina pa sila dito, they're just contesting the Lord from Bren Esports. Alam nila kapag natapos to, la lamang ang Bren, pero ito, lalaban na sila dito. They know na mahuhuli nila si Yuji, pero medyo makunat yan. Isama mo si Pain, and the, is, this might be different for Signal Ultra. And right now, Hayes is trying to position himself. Hurricane Dance still hasn't been used. Do not go up, he's there. Hayes, down. mga kaibigan, nahuli din dito. Do not go up, shot. We are immobilized here from the side of Bren Esports. And D will just dash away. UG falls down, Pain falls down, pero that is Yahoo on the side of Signal Ultra. So magre-relax muna yung Signal dito. Hihintayin lang nila mabuhay si Yako. 40 seconds, wala yung mga main damage healers natin dito. Although buhay si Ribo again, kanina pa siya sinusulot ni Pew. And game in pause. Wow. Inom tubig, mainit. Inom tubig, mainit. inom tubig, inom tubig. Mainit ang summer natin mga kaibigan. So, right now, we're actually seeing these two teams na may, ma, may oras nila para magplano yung mga next na gagawin nila. And at the same time, we need to expect the unexpected din sa mga teams na to. Signal Ultra, they are the comeback kings. Brand Esports, they are the they're best in a team fight play. Macro play. Yep. For Signal Ultra, for the past five engagements, ang ganda lang talaga ng target selection nila. Few has been consistent on uh, taking the jump on Rebo para hindi makaharap ng proper team fight initiation yung Bren Esports. Alam nila na kapag naunahan sila ng Bren, delikado sila. Again, we've talked about how the Franco is really good in initiating team fights. Kapag tinanggal mo yon sa table ng Bren Esports, you get the advantage in terms of taking the fight against Bren Esports. Nagiinit na ang ating mga player. Nakita nyo kanina sobrang focus nila. But right now, it all comes to it all comes down to one major fight. Berserker's Rage, nakakuha ni Rebo dito. This is, this is a game of six slotted yep. heroes. Fully stuck na si B na lang. Ako po, kompleto na. And, uh, ito na, hindi na, eh, hindi na Mobile Legends lalaro natin dito. Mobile Legends RPG Endgame. na to. Mobile Legends Endgame na to, Kuya Batres. Oh, ito na, pero nahuli si Coco. We have the Dragon, is a bit skewed. He will try, still try to get, go for the kill. The immobilization is there. And Q, actually using Shunfo to dodge. The hook! Pero ito, maghahabol ang Bren Esports. They know that Signal Ultra just burnt a lot of spells on their side. Coco, wala pa siyang minamarkahan. Mag-re-recall. Pero kakasin ang Didian. Mahuhuli. Chase dito. Pero at this point, medyo makunit na yung mga targets natin. Kapag malapit yung apat na kasama ng target mo, no, as much as possible, you'd want to get the respect. Few, what do they have to do? Ito kasi yung ano, eh, pinaka-question dyan. Bren Esports, they only need to take one tower. Just this one turret on the top lane to just punish Signal Ultra every now and then. Bren Esports, they can take the Lord. Pero ang pinakakinakatakutan kasi nalagan ni Dito, pinakakinakatakutan. Medyo nahirapan ako doon. D, ito yung isang main... This is the main threat for them. I think Fu is doing a lot of damage. Yao is doing a lot of damage as well. But right now, he is getting caught out. And Coco dito with the chase bait. Trying to go and chase Fu. Pero sabi niya, 
medyo suntok sa buwan. Yep. Di niya kita. Di niya kita yung iba. And again, sinabi naman ng panel na kapag dumating ka sa late game, it's very hard for Signal Ultra to actually finish off the game. Pero with how it's turning out, sila yung nagpakapanalo ng mga huling engagements. That's why we we are in a stalemate right now. Nahuli lang yung isa dito from the side of Signal Ultra. And this might be the team point na hinaharap ng Brennan. And D, medyo na silent siya dito. Medyo nahatak din siya. And D will actually just dash out mga kaibigan again. And same same process. We're, we're going through the same things time and time again, time and time and again. But Brennan. What will they do? Another suppression dito. Deads. And here comes the knock-up just to save his buddy. Oh, but oh. Signal Ultra, they cannot. They cannot take their own buff. And they want to go for Yaku. Dito is the primary target. And look at that knock-up. Four man, pero no follow-up whatsoever. Tets dito. This is the only way, mga kaibigan. Para makalaban sila dito, they need to wait for the show. Kuya Butters, nasa labas sila ng BS. Nasa harap sila ng base ng Signal Ultra and naglo-lord si Coco if they get the teamfight here. Pero sabi ng Signal Ultra, lumabas kayo lahat. Tato lang kayo dito. And he's, he's finding, he's looking for the proper teamfight here. And ito si Coco, tuloy-tuloy pa rin sa Lord. Hindi niya sinasamahan yung mga kaibigan niya. And Rivo takes Yaku down. Do they even need the Lord? Now na Yaku is down, Karita is down, I do feel na kaya nilang, uh, kaya nilang labanan dito. Tets, he is trying to contest yung third yung lord ng Brand Esports na huli si Pew na naman and Brand Esports capitalize on the number advantage Shigna Ultra three heroes down and the lord has been taken okay lord has been taken and uh wow Brand Esports they're just getting everything that they want Signal Ultra on the other hand medyo nasa backline sa naman sila doon their their backs are behind the ropes Malefic Roar will be on Coco Kompleto na, Kuya Kompleto, Butters. Kompleto, Ricardo na tayo dito. Wala nang hinihintay-hintay pa mga players natin. The Lord is already out. Bren Esports, as much as possible, you'd want to finish this game in one push. Kudrik, Kudigra, ika nga. And ito, Payne, standing in the front line. Tets is trying to defend against Bren Esports. Ito, papas mo si Hayes, looking for the proper team fight. And Throne Rush, Throne Rush, yun na Throne Rush ng Bren Esports. And this might be the winning moment, mga kaibigan. Bren Esports, Rebo, Rebo! Carter Finals, and this might be it! They will win this series 2-0! And Signal Ultra is heading to the lower brackets! Rebo, wala akong pakialam sa hero. Nandito ako para tapusin yung trono and they get the sweep 2-0 for Bren Esports! Suntok ba talaga sa buwan na makita ako ang Bren Esports na nasa lower bracket? Seems to me that this team, wala talaga silang posisyon dun sa lower bracket. Yep. Even if Signal Ultra na yung pinakatapot nila sa quarterfinals pa lang. Sabi nila, walang champion-champion. Doon kayo sa lower bracket.